I was just excited, you know, this is this is really a great day for me because um, I remember the day when when I was younger that all the older guys would want to try to go, you know, they, they wanted me to play with them. They said, you gotta get that young spirit. So I know what they mean now because these two young men are a, a little bit younger than me, but they really got old hearts and old spirits. So it's a great, a great, a great band. I'm, re I'm really happy about it. Well, you know, these guys are, two of the best musicians I've ever worked with. You know, they have tons of experience. They're both um, very personable. You know, they have a great vision for music and what they want. Uh, so it's been a lot of fun. It's been a great learning experience for me uh, to be able to come in as a pianist in the trio situation and really uh, get a chance to flex my chops. Well, Jan Rico and I go way back. I've known Jan Rico since uh, probably 1998, 1999, and uh, he played on one of my CDs, and uh, I played on some of his uh, stuff. And we've been friends over the years, kept in touch, played a lot of different stuff together when we worked with Earl Klug and different folks. And um, so I've been knowing Jan Rico a while. Nick Rosen, on the other hand, I just met. He's a talented young cat. And wow, I mean, it's. It's one. It's, it's a, such a true great experience because these are really two trained professional professional musicians. Number one, and then they're such creative people. Joseph has his own record company, Blue Canoe, and he's just a great bass player and a prolific writer. And has several records out, you know, and, and due to himself, Nick is an up and coming composer, writer. Uh, conductor for Jennifer Holiday, who I actually play with, and he's fresh ideas, great player. And but because we all are writing kind of from different areas, it really makes a real nice gumbo. Uh, and in my contribution, I did the vocal thing only because I knew that they wouldn't write vocals. It's easier to write vocal for someone who sings it, and I thought it would add and, and you know and you know give the band a little roundness to have that other voice. Jan Rico's personality is very dynamic, it's very outgoing, and he comes to play, he means everything that he's doing. He really puts his whole spirit into it, which is, a, a, I love that. It's such a beautiful thing. Nick, on the other hand, it's the same thing, but in a different kind of way. His touch, his demeanor, and harmonically, Nick will really take you places where Jan Rico really brings the power of the drums. So to be in the middle of that is really a uh, pretty cool dynamic for myself. So I think we're really trying to combine the traditional funk trio with a real strong blues and roots sensibilities. This, this project really stretched me personally, one, because uh, we each brought music to the table. I wrote three songs, uh, Jan Rico and Nick did, and then we wrote collaboratively on one song. But what was challenging was we haven't really played together that much. Uh, actually, maybe just one or two other times a long time ago. So there was no rehearsals. We just came in the room. Here's my idea. Here's your idea. We, let's, let's talk about it. Record. And that's kind of what we did. Now, we did several takes of every song. Um, but ultimately, you know, what, what went down is kind of what went down. And uh, I think we're all really happy with it. It really has been helping me to be able to collectively write with these other great musicians and uh, not feel like all of the compositional burden, so to speak, is on me, but it really, uh, really helps when you got these great musicians uh, giving their ideas and giving their opinions on uh, where they think the music should be. Closing, I would like to say uh, it's been a real honor to, to get to work with Jan Rico again in a different context and then to meet this great new um, piano player, Nick Rosen. And um, I just want to thank both of them for getting in this room, in my here in my studio, and just making some music and seeing what happens, what happened, and what happened was what you what you now have, which is this finished CD. So we're real excited about it. I think there's some really good songs on there and some really good interplay. And uh, I want to thank all of you for checking it out. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Number one, I'm so excited again about getting a chance to do another record. Um, Be in my world, uh, which has only really been out now about seven, eight months. It's really doing well. We're very proud of the sets, but to, to so soon get a chance to work with producer Mr. Joseph Patrick Moore, great keyboard player Mr. Nick Rosen, you know, to, to get a chance to, uh, to talk about a, a quest, you know, the, 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 the whole idea about the quest of the big drum or the sound of the drum 
It's about the supernatural feeling of whatever you want in your life, you should just reach for. But the quest of the big drum is my quest. So thank you for coming and joining us. Yanrico Scott Band featuring Nick Rosen and Joseph Patrick Moore to the quest of the big drum. Let the spirit rise higher and higher. The moment has come. The song